Welcome back to Brightside on 10 Tampa Bay. We are your hurricane headquarters. It's a busy time of year for the tropics. No doubt. This week marks one year since Hurricane Ida hit Louisiana, then 17 years since Hurricane Katrina devastated New Orleans as a Category 5 storm. Yeah, and oh. Grant, you're watching several things in the tropics this morning. Uh, Katrina actually cat three when it made landfall on New Orleans, but still the devastation was, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, it was just horrible. Uh, we are heading toward the peak of hurricane season. Uh, the peak of hurricane season technically on September 10th. Uh, here we go. I mean, it's been relatively quiet recently, but four systems out there now that we're watching, one of which, Invest 91L, is moving through the central Atlantic, now has an 80% chance of developing into a tropical cyclone over the next five days. Likely through the second half of the week into the weekend, it may become a tropical storm. Some forecast models actually have it becoming a hurricane. I'll show you that forecast model in just a second. But in the meantime, wind speeds at 35 miles per hour moving to the west northwest at six miles per hour. It will continue generally on that heading until we get into the second half of the week. It will start to turn more to the north northwest before what looks like it's going to curve to the northeast. Let me show you the GFS model here real quick because I'm sure you've seen it on social media. It, it does become uh, likely a hurricane potentially by early next week. Uh, and then there's that turn to the northeast away from the U.S. mainland, but potentially being an issue for Bermuda, guys.